Okay, my dudes, you guys know this had to be a WrestleMania moment, bro. We see Jay coming to the main roster, mixing up the women's division. Now, I don't know too much about her other than she was an AEW champion for like 500 days or something like that. So she's got some uh, some uh, some respect. She's got some uh, aggression. She wants to let out here in WWE. I can't believe WWE signed an AEW star. Pretty happy, not gonna lie. And seeing Jade and Charlotte coming face to face the other day, I'm actually pretty excited to see them go at it. They gonna go at it. Oh 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 oh! They they for sure gonna go back the queen Charlotte Flair there she is it's actually gonna be a tight match not gonna lie for Jade to go face to face with Charlotte Flair in her first match as well that's gonna definitely put a mark for herself in the main roster I'm not gonna lie to be honest if Jade wins whoo 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 yo yo what I'm saying right now is uh women better be watching out i'm not gonna lie it actually makes me want to go and watch some aew just to check out how she has she wrestled and what she done and check out her storylines what happened with her in w with aew because then we can expect what to see in wwe hopefully even better to be honest with you because every day i feel like triple h is like really helping push her as well and i like that i like triple h really getting involved you see triple h in the background and stuff i like him i like even when she came out of the car when she come to wwe came out again right there man yo welcome to wwe bro i like you i like you man wwe superstars be going to aw for days it's about damn time that wwe be taking some aew stars they be scouting that's what wwe be doing they be like yo it's cool you won't take all these talents it's cool we're gonna watch aew for like a hot minute we're gonna watch it for a year two years we're gonna say all right cool we ain't see a rise in store you won't come to wwe make your name real big easy bro easy right there pow this 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 is gonna be fun. This, this this right here is gonna be a very very hopefully they don't mess up. I don't think they could to be a champion in the AEW for like over 500 days. I don't feel like WWE will be able to. I don't know, man. No 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 no. no scrap that. We have Triple H doing these things. I don't think they'll have a trouble. I don't I don't think they'll have trouble, man. To it to be honest with you, I don't know why. I honestly don't know why, right? But. When I first ever saw her, I had like China vibes. Like I get like, you remember China from back in the day? I had that China vibes, bro. That's why Triple H is getting involved. Even he got them, but I don't know. I don't know, bro. But like, like I said, I'm gonna go back and watch some AEW now because I didn't really keep up with AEW too tough. Obviously, when there were certain superstars went to AEW, I checked them out. Like when CM Punk went there, uh, Matt Hardy. Oh, Mr. Black into Malachi Black as he called himself now. Bro, I, I I love watching Malachi Black, man. He's doing his thing, bro. But um to be honest with you, I didn't really watch it day in and day. Like, I watch WWE every week. Like every I'll make sure I watch that. AEW is never one of those things. If I'm watching if I've got some time to, to spare or there's a specific superstar I want to watch, I'm like, oh I I'll put that on. But it's never been a thing in I watch it day day in, day out. But I need to. I need to, I need to. Just like when a rising star from NXT comes up to the main roster and I don't really know who they are too tough, it makes me actually go back and watch NXT to go check them out because I just I just want to see what they about. Like LA now, when he first came in that Maximum Model, I was like, who the heck is this dude, bro? It, Maximum Model Agency, like what is this? this is, I'm not, I'm not. Then I watched him how he was on NXT and I was like, oh damn. How the heck they even kind of put him in that position? How the heck did they even do that? What even happened to Mansoir and Mansue or Man whatever? Mas Masi, Masi and Mansoir. What happened to them, man? It was kind of funny, not gonna lie. It was kind of funny, bro. Uh, but yeah, anyway, LA Knight, they, they, they nearly ruined LA Knight, bro. They, they nearly ruined LA Knight. I'm happy LA Knight ain't on that vibe no more. Here we go. She about to get reversed right there. You see, look, 
you got to be careful going up against the Queen. She knows every dirty trick in the book. With a father like uh, Ric Flair, the nature boy, she going to be a dirty player as well. She going to know all the dirtiest moves in WWE. Oh, I don't think I've actually seen that move get hit right in WWE 2K23. One, two. Oh, 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 who's coming out for who? Who the heck is coming out for Charlotte Flair? Rhea Ripley, makes sense. Rhea Ripley, Judgment Day, coming out for Charlotte Flair. Woo, is Jay gonna capitalize on this? Yes, she is. She gonna roll her up. She gonna roll her up. One. Kicked out, kicked out, kicked out. That was a nice little roll up in though. Oh, the big boot right there. Did not even phase Jay. Damn. Rhea Ripley coming out to get some of that uh, taste of payback on Charlotte Flair and all those big boots that she had to taste back in the day, man. We're going hardcore up in here in a women's matchup, man. Extreme rules for days. Hold on. Hopefully, uh, Jay knows about this um, figure of four leg lock. Because if she don't, oh, she going to get twisted up like a pretzel. And uh, only... Only, only her residency will save her because, you know, you ain't gonna break her down as soon as I said it. Oh, damn! Nope, she's gonna weaken her legs. See, Charlotte Flair, she's smart. Look at this. Weakening up the legs. Weakening up the damn legs. She knows what she's doing. Charlotte Flair has been in the game long enough to know exactly what to do to take out any woman that tries to step to her or even tries to make a name in WWE of her back. Oh, it's not gonna happen. Oh, a damn pedigree. She got damn... Wait, is that her damn move? Wait, 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 wait. She actually got pedigree or was that just something that I was made up? Bro? Because if she got pedigree right now, she her name ain't Jade no more. I'm going her damn China. What the heck? Bro. Oh, Charlotte Flair going to stack that steel chair right there. Oh, I thought she was going to put a spear. I thought she was going to hit her with a spear. Whoa, knocked her clean now. She got straight up. Charlotte Flair just gave Jade her best right hook and she just stood back up. Oh, oh, oh. This is the show of power right now. A pure show of power. Here we go. Whoopsie. Oh, that was a bit of a botch. Jade knows exactly what is going down now. Charlotte Flair, she gonna go for a ride, fall away slam. Power is on show right now. Jade showing the world what she's got. Ooh. Bit slow off the mark right there against the Queen. She needs to buck up her ideas if she wants to put Charlotte down. Wham! Okay, that's power. That's power. Ooh! Can this roll up here do it? One, two. That was that was pretty close. That was a little bit closer than I think Jade would have liked, to be honest with you guys. Who would be hyped? Oh, natural selection! She got it. She got it. Is that enough? To keep Jade down. One, two. She may have been AEW champion, but has she got what it takes to be a WWE champion? This is the question in doubt right now. Woo! Because Charlotte Flair, she locks in what I think she's about to lock in. Jade is in trouble. Oh, hold on. Let's go to them legs. Let's see what doing there. Right there. There it is. Third. Oh! She got, she got, she got reversed. She damn got reversed. Jade knew what was coming. Woo! Belly to belly. Damn belly to belly. Jade about to pull out a whole plethora of moves right now. She's about to pull it out. That could be enough. One, two. Charlotte kicks out. Damn. This is too close for comfort right now. Who is going to get it? I do not know. But right now, this is what I'm talking about. Sledgehammer time. See, Triple H gave her that. Triple H, uh oh. Woo! Oh damn. You don't know which way he's gonna go. You feel like Jade is gonna win right now? She got a specialist lo loaded right there, but this is this is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen, man. Woo! Let's see if Charlotte can pull out the W right now. Because uh this gonna uh, literally not put her in a good position against an AEW star coming over to WWE. They need to make Hold on. Jay Fire back. Jay, Jay, Jay is two stone. Get back in off the rope. Charlotte Flair again, very quick. Snapped her down to the canvas. 
and going straight back for that sledgehammer. Saying Triple H is my boy, man. Whoa. Woo! Damn, bro, kick to her, bro. One, two, three. Jay gets it. She proving that she uh, conquered AEW. She's up for a new challenge and she's gone conquer WWE, starting with Charlotte Flair. I like that. Pow! Replays are real here. The replays are damn real. Natural selection getting hit. I want to see that bro kick down. The, the replays are on point. The replays are on point again. I like it. I like it. The, re the replays are on point again, man. All right, guys, if you're pretty hyped for this matchup, hit me up in the comments below. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode, my dudes.